Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, we will be learning about factor groups. So the first question that arises here is, why the study of normal subgroups is of great significance? We Until now, we had studied about groups, we studied about subgroups, right? Then we studied about it, their cosets and from these cosets, we came to the concept of normal subgroups, right? Now, using this normal subgroups, can we create factor groups? and uh, why we eventually are studying normal subgroups and do we get any information using them regarding the group this is the question here so here the answer i have that i have given to this question is that the study of normal subgroup that is important because we can construct new groups which are called factor groups from the cosets of the normal subgroup right in fact these factor groups they provide they sometimes provides information about a group right so what actually is a factor group let's have a look here if g is given to be some group and h be its normal subgroup right then we ha if we define the thing like this g oblique h right what is this this is known as the factor group and what all elements would be there this a this g is the given group this is the normal subgroup of g right so you uh, what information can we get from this this is the uh, we we are calling this thing as the factor group it consists of all the distinct cosets of the given group g where a is taken from the group g so this group uh, is uh, we say this forms a group with the group operation as a h when we take two elements from this uh, group which are cosets so that means we take one coset as a h another coset as b h and then we compose them together so our operation is that both the elements they are multiplied together and form another coset such that the coset representative here is the multiplication of these two coset representatives a and b so such groups they are known as factor groups so notice here that the factor group that is also called the quotient group of the group G by H. And remember that we can only define these factor groups or the quotient groups whenever the involved subgroup here, it should be a normal subgroup. Whenever this is a normal subgroup, we are able to define such quotient groups or the factor groups, right? So this is the definition here. So let's understand this definition through the help of an example. Suppose we take the group to be the group of integers and the operation here is taken to be addition operation. Okay. So now using this group, you can construct a subgroup out of it such that we only take those elements which are multiple of 4. So we take 0 plus minus 4 plus pi plus 8 plus pi plus 12 and so on. So now is this subgroup 4z, is this a normal subgroup in this group z? So let's have a look at this thing. The answer is yes, it is normal. How? Because all the left cosets and the right cosets, they are equal to each other. When, whenever we choose some element from it, all the others are, uh, all the cosets left and right, they are the same. How? Let's consider the coset 0 plus 4z. What is that? This is nothing but the group itself, right? You can clearly see this thing. Next, if we take the right coset of it, right, taking the same coset representative, it is again giving you the same group. So it is also again equal to Z. So you see in this case, we have the same subgroups, right? Now, what about the next one? 1 plus 4Z. So you see if we uh, take this one, so basically our 4Z wa wa uh, was which one? The subgroup 4z was given by 0 plus minus 4 plus minus 8 and so on, right? Now, if you wanted to calculate 1 plus 4z, so you have to add 1 to all the elements here, right? So you have to add 1 to all the elements. So what would it become? It would become 1, right? The plus would become 5, the plus 1 plus 8 would become 9 and so on. And on the left hand side, 1 minus 4 would become minus 3. 1 minus 8 would become minus 7 and so on, right? So we have these all elements present here. Similarly, for the right one, we are just adding all the elements through the right. So it would be 
फोर जेड प्लस वन इट वुड बी इक्वल टू जीरो प्लस वन देन फोर प्लस माइनस सॉरी नॉट दिस वन इट इज प्लस माइनस फोर प्लस वन देन प्लस माइनस एट प्लस वन एंड सो वन सो वेन यू सॉल्व दिस यू अगेन हैव द सेम थिंग सो हे आर ऑल्सो द लेफ्ट एंड राइट को सेट्स आर इक्वल देन वी हैव इट फॉर टू प्लस फोर जेड हेयर ऑल्सो दे आर इक्वल एंड हेयर ऑल्सो दे आर इक्वल टू ईच अदर हैंस ऑल द सब ग्रुप्स दे आर इक्वल टू ईच अदर हैंस एच इज नॉट एच इन दिस केस वी आर टेकिंग फोर जेड सो दिस कम्स आउट टू बी अ नॉर्मल सब ग्रुप राइट दिस इज वन थिंग अनादर थिंग दैट वी नीड टू चेक हेयर इज दैट अपार्ट फ्रॉम दीज फोर डिस्टिंक्ट को सेट्स डू वी हैव एनी अदर सपोज लेट्स टेक दिस वन फाइव प्लस फोर जेड सो वॉट वुड इट बी इट वुड बी लाइक दिस इट वुड बी लाइक दिस फाइव प्लस जीरो फाइव प्लस माइनस फोर देन फाइव प्लस माइनस एट एंड सो वॉट राइट सो एन वी सॉल्व दिस इट वुड कम आउट टू बी फोर फाइव राइट प्लस देन वॉट वुड बी दिस फाइव प्लस फोर इट वुड बी नाइन फाइव प्लस एट दैट वुड बी थर्टीन एंड सो वन राइट दिस वुड बी देर एंड ऑन द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड वी हैव फाइव माइनस फोर दैट इज वन राइट वन वुड ऑल्सो बी देर बिफोर दिस वन देन इट वुड बी फाइव माइनस एट दैट इज माइनस थ्री एंड सो वन सो यू सी वॉट इज दिस सब ग्रुप दिस वन वॉट इज दिस को सेट हेयर यू सी आई have the elements common to this minus 3 1 5 9 the next element here would be 13 and so on so you see what is this this is 5 plus 4z is actually your 1 plus 4z right so both of them they are equal to each other similarly when you have any other coset they would again be the repetition of these four cosets so we only have these four cosets as the distinct cosets in the group of integers correct in fact this the factor group here con consist of only the four elements right uh, which are the four distinct cosets of this uh, group of integers taking 4z as the normal subgroup of it right now the question here that is of important uh, importance is that the question group that we have constructing here uh, constructed here in this case does it really form a group so we have to answer this question and we'll be answering it in our next video so i hope you understood uh, the concept of a uh, question group or factor group well well that is it for this video thank you for watching